She'll, as much as possible, just allow any underage. Social process is held. Even when we had a meeting with them, everybody, even when we promised to treat each and every party equally, on equal equanimity, even when we passed and shared the electoral guidelines to them, even when we shared the election timetable to them, even when we kept drawing their attention to the content of the timetable, the party refused to protest the nomination form. The party refused to submit. The party refused to conduct primary election. The party refused to invite and notify the commission on that primary election. The party refused to participate in the screening of the candidates. And by implication, the party is out of the race. And legally speaking, even though I'm not a legal expert, they have no local strategy. on this issue. They have no ground. Six parties are participating. NNPP, ZLP, Accord Party, AAC, and A8. Six parties are participating. They have followed all the electoral, they respected all the content of the timetable and guidelines. Conducted primary election, observed, purchased the nomination form, forwarded the list of their nominated candidates. And respected the entire processes. It is pertinent to draw the attention of the press, gentlemen of the press, that every activity of the commission, every activity of the commission is procedural. It's governed by due process. Right from our nomination, we were evaluated, assessed, and cleared by the State House of Assembly, the law-making body of the courts. We were accused of partisanship, that we should be sacked because we are partisan. Partisans at what level? At gladiator? At spectator level? or at a pathetic level. By way of procedure for those who are conversant with administration and governance, by way of procedure, when we were nominated, the government waited state action on our salary aid until six months after we had been cleared by the State House of Assembly. And the wisdom behind waiting up to six months before we are sworn in is to create an opportunity for whoever is in disagreement over whatever ground of our nomination to file his own grievances, to file his own disagreement to the constituted court of law. By way of procedure, three months after nomination, are sufficiently required for you to agree or disagree. But that was never done. And to when we had less than six days to election. And this election was constitutional. It's a fundamental constitutional requirement. And the Supreme Court consolidated that constitutional requirement by ruling that the only recognized local government leadership are the elected local government leaderships. 
and that it ordered the federal government and the Accountant General of the Federation not to, not to disburse any local government grant due for local government to leaders who are not elected. The federal government and the state government have mutual agreement that late October be the deadline for all the states to conduct their local government election. Even when people are conscious of this deadline, yet some people in the states who belong to the states and states belong to them are held bent on truncating this exercise and I may be even right to calculate and preempt that this same group of people may be trying to file another suit restraining accountant general of the federation from disbursing grants to Kano State. Why Kano? Each and every set of the federation had its own election hit free. But why Kano? Why? It's left for politicians to answer the question. It's left for the analyst, political analyst. It's left for those who want to see the state down in all ramifications to offer answer to the question. While I in briefing you on, on all these issues, I would like to also draw the attention of the president that media now is a fundamental pillar of democracy because the media represents the voice of the voiceless. They represent the power of the powerless. The media gives direction. To democracy, to where democracy may oscillate. The great task now before media is public. Under normal country, under normal democracy, action is truncated under democratic experimentation. Then what next? The only distinguishing feature of democracy is election. You remove election out of it. What next? <coughs> same people who benefited from election are the same people trying to strangulate, <coughs> to suffocate electoral processes in a country that is claiming to be democratic, democratic country. Impunity is gradually entrenching this system. And it is the responsibility of the media, Democrats all over the country and the world. And comrades who are agents of change to bluntly and boldly kick against this culture of impunity being gradually gradually this is a recipe for authoritarian authoritarianism a recipe for autocratic tendencies i on the final note want to call on the kano state citizen to please conduct themselves lawfully while casting their votes tomorrow.